Genau. Guys, we just come on board and you know, just starting up and sharing with what we need to share with. No Shauna today, sorry. Mm -hmm. Shauna's getting herself some tea. Sorry. <sighs> this better share. Share, 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 share. Get ready to get started, guys. You're already sharing all the groups. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh yeah, I gotta watch. Keep an eye on make sure. See us. Anybody join <clears throat> us yet? Just you so far. All right. Um, hey Sean. Hi, Sean. Is there a way to stop that from beeping? No. Okay. <laughs> Probably don't be too loud. It's just a little beat. All right. So, hey guys, uh, we have two people so far watching, which is good. If you could just kind of say hi, let us know when you're there so we know who you are and maybe even know where you're from, that'd be great. Travis Boss. Hi, Travis Boss. Hey, you just recently joined our autism group. That's great. I appreciate that. And uh, again, that was that's just kind of a Something that's been on our hearts for a while. Um, yes, we have two grandchildren with autism. Mm -hmm. that down. Yep. All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, get going. And as more people come on board, well, we'll just catch them up. So let's start off talking about Shauna, your week. Yeah, Plus. I had a fantastic week. Mm -hmm. um, every day for seven days in a row, I got on the scale. And I would lose, you know, a couple ounces here and there, but mm -hmm. so I hit seven new lows. Seven consecutive days. A yes. New low. That's impressive. I mean, because she, if you're, you know, you're just following with Travis and whoever else comes on, um, you know, Shauna kind of hovered for about a month, right? Yeah, you didn't, a month and a half. A month and a half. You didn't, you know, nothing changed, but she really didn't change anything. She just stuck to the protocol and then all of a sudden it just kind of let loose. Whereas I have been more almost of a linear drop over my six months in the last couple of weeks, I've kind of hovered, right? So, but that's just kind of how this works, right? So, um, yeah, definitely. so we are doing this um, primarily from our case, we started this for weight loss and improving our health. Um, we have a lot of people that most of the people that follow us are doing it for that reason. And so we most of the advice that we provide is for that purpose. We also have the keto for autoimmune diseases. So there's a combination of reasons that people do it there. They do it for both weight loss and to uh, improve their... Um, because we have yeah, autoimmune. To improve their inflammation. And so there's a you know, reason for that. And so there's a couple of different ways you can do it. So Shauna had seven new consecutive lows. I My weight didn't change much over the last couple of weeks. Miriam joined. Hello, Miriam. But Good morning. I, for a non-scale victory, I guess you'd say, I, I recently posted that I had to 
um, pretty much take all of my work clothes to Goodwill. <laughs> so I was, two big bag full. Yeah, I was, I'm pretty much you know out of work clothes, and now I've got t-shirts and, and stuff I can wear. Um, but so I had to go shopping this week, this weekend, because I've got a business trip coming up next week, or I've got to go up to New York. So I went and bought you know some pants and shirts and a. a a, a jacket my suit jacket yeah but what's bizarre is this is not, not the lowest i've weighed ever right i mean before i went in the navy I, I was i weighed less but i'm wearing the same size of clothes that i was wearing at that time right so even though i'm 25 30 pounds heavier than i was then i'm wearing the same size clothes as a matter of fact i put on a, a pair of um um 36 slims and they weren't out at all tight. And I'm able to put 34s on, and I haven't been able to do that for 30 years. Yeah. So that's pretty amazing. So Travis got says, his wife on the board after cool. losing 35 pounds in four months. Great job, Travis. That's awesome, man. So yeah, I mean, we're all. This is all about improving we're our health. Inspiring right? other people to get healthy too on on our journey. Mm -hmm. So that's great. Yeah, our circle of influence is growing, and we're very, very, very excited about that. So. Um, so that's our, that's our non-scale victories. Now, last week on our um, couple of our Facebook groups, our autoimmune group and our Keto Mojo Go Go group, uh, I posted my medical results, right? My, my, actually, my chart from my doctor, from my rheumatologist. And if you go there now, you can see it. Or if you join those groups, you can see it. But so what it shows is that my ankylosing spondylitis, which is a pretty severe autoimmune disease that impacts the back, the um, it's a, it's a big, basically a back arthritis, so lower back is in remission, um, as stated by my doctor. Um, no progress, no progression. Uh, she would, took me off my Humira, which is you know an immune suppressant um, drug. If you're not familiar with and that, it's been on for years. Yeah, for about 15 years. Uh, methyltrexate, all my blood pressure medicines. Now I know she. I said you don't need to take those anymore, and uh, she had already taken me off my diabetic meds. So. All of those things, and it's what's nice to be able to, to post those results to places where say, well, you know, th this is just a placebo. It doesn't work for you. I'll say, well, here's what my doctor says about it. So I guess it's such a strong placebo that it fooled her in that case. And the labs. And the labs and all that yeah. stuff, right? Um, so those are exciting things that I think, think of. Now, full transparency. So because I'm doing so well, my blood glu glucose is doing great. It's, it's like constantly between or consistently between 80 and 90 and that's american standards which is normal um i was still wondering okay well even though my blood glucose is normal or seemingly normal what's my insulin doing right so the question would be am i still hyperinsulinemic in other words um having too much glucose or insulin in my blood so i asked the doctor to give me a um, fasting insulin uh, test and she did, and I got that back this week, and the results came back at 10.0. So that's high. Um, so that means that I am still hyperinsulinemic. I mean, I have too much insulin in my blood, even though my blood glucose is good. So that's kind of the point is the blood glucose number by itself is not enough, right? You need to have both sides of the equation when you're checking this. Now, anything above eight is considered um, insulin resistant or hyperinsulinemic. Um, so I'm at 10. I don't, I've never tested it before. So I don't know if I was like 12 or 15 before. I don't know. So that's my baseline. And I'm going to keep, keep tracking that. Um, so I'm not having I'm to take, sure we'll see some improvement yeah, over the we'll next few months. Mm -hmm. So we'll keep testing that maybe every quarter to see, you know, however often the insurance company will pay for it. Um, keep testing that to see how that progresses, et cetera. But my theory also on that is because my insulin is a little bit elevated, it's keeping me from going very deep into ketosis because there are enemies, right? High insulin is the enemy of ketosis. So uh, when I do a test, I rarely uh, you know, check out above small ketosis. I'm usually in trace to small. Um, and it's okay. I'm still burning fat. I've still lost 67 pounds in six months. You look fantastic. And um, so it's, it's fine. And over time, my insulin level will repair and uh, the resistance will resolve itself, but it's just good to know. So it's one thing I can just suggest if you haven't done that already, do a fasting insulin test. And, and the one thing 
also about this insulin resistance. So if you're having hyperinsulinemia, um, that will always lead to more problems, right? So that so means since you're insulin resistant, um, which insulin resistance leads to inflammation, okay? Inflammation leads to a lot more problems, um, including type two diabetes, autoimmune uh, symptoms, and cardiovascular disease. So if you can think about those five- And um, that's why your RA is getting better. That's right. So yeah, as you step it down, you know, you get less inflammation. All this, so all this is just repair along the way. And remember, there's, there are five things that are considered to be cardiovascular risk factors, right? And if you have three out of the five, you're considered to be at risk. The first one being your uh, waist circumference. If that's, if that's out of range from your height, that's, that's, a, that's a bad indicator. Um, also, remember, there's people that don't have the ability to get obese, so they'll never see that one. Uh, the next one is high blood pressure, high blood glucose, which doesn't even consider the insulin resistance or the insulin amount in your body, but it's there. Um, your triglyceride amount, which mine went way down, so it's, it's back into the normal range. And then the other thing is, is a, a low, high, low HDL and a high LDL. So if those um, are out of rank, and that, 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 that's um, not in good ratio, those are the ratios, are, are risks. So now, right now, I have one and a half kind of uh, risk factors where I used to have five. So if I didn't lose a single pound, which I did, obviously I did, it would still be great news, right? And that's one of the things that our doctor was so happy about in yeah. both of our cases was that- Both are lab yeah, work. She goes, the weight that loss is fantastic, right. but all of these other things are what's really, really important and that, that are improvements. So- um, those are some of the good things. Our risk factors, both of us went down. So, mm -hmm. Miriam said that's good. So, Thank you, Miriam. Yeah, and so we're hoping, yeah, we're excited. We're hoping that we can push this message, you know, press this <laughs> on to other people, so that they will also uh, reap Maybe these benefits, improve their health, mm -hmm. inspire right. others is our goal. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about, and this is just kind of to help uh, confusion out there for people in the ketogenic realm, people that are interested in keto, people that are on it and getting confused, is that if you're not aware of it, there are multiple protocols of the ketogenic way of eating. Um, the first one and the original that was uh, brought for up- kids with epilepsy. In the 1920s were for, for children that were not getting benefits from the epileptic drugs of the time. And so they put them on this high fat, diet, low carb diet, extremely low carb, and they noticed they got better. Um, so that was the very first application. And we're starting to see more and more applications of that, right? So the thing with that one is if you're on reasons for epilepsy or for maybe uh, Alzheimer's or even autism or any of these things, the macros are really important, right? So that's when you see macros saying that you need to stay between 75 and percent, 80 percent fat and uh, 10, 15 to 20% um, protein and 5% uh, carbohydrates. Those are keenly important for, for when you're having brain repair issues. That's one type. And even within that, there are like nine more protocols that are even more specific where they're adding additional fats like MCT oils. Some people are even adding uh, exogenous ketones to help in those cases, but they're trying to do repair. It's, it's like these things have to be done in order to do the repair. Now, the other type of protocol, and that's what we tend to hover towards or be more um, informational towards, are the people that are trying to lose weight or lose fat or both right. in these cases, right? But it's not as strict protocol. It's different, right? Yeah. And so the macros that people talk about are far less important as far as, you know, I have to stay at 75% fat and 15% protein or 20% protein. Um, the one... The only thing that really matters in this case, if you're trying to lose weight, is your number, the carbohydrates, and it's not a percentage. So Dr. Eric Westman, who's the protocol that we're using, has over 50,000 patients, right? And so he was able to do the testing and find out that for his patients that stayed under 20 grams of carbs total per day, all made it into ketosis and were able to burn fat. Every single one of them that did that. If you go to 30 carbs, about 75% are able to get into ketosis 
And if you get up to 50 carbs, it'll take you to about 50% of the, his patients right. got into ketosis. So the best thing we can do is, well, let's do what's most successful. What works for everybody? Is that the 20 gram? Page. List, yeah. It's our food list and a protocol, right? And so the protocol says consume a total of 20 grams of carbohydrates per day. That's net, not I mean, total, not net. I probably most days don't even get 10 carbs. Right. Eat fatty meats and non starchy vegetables until you're full, which is the key. So if you're eating uh, fatty meats and vegetables, you're not hungry for anything else, right? And then don't eat when you're not hungry. And so under, underneath that is things are suggestions that you can eat the different types of meats and vegetables and kind of portioning, et cetera. That are available for you. So this is a really simple list and a really easy way to follow. And again, and this is you can find for, it on Keto Moms or Gogo. Yeah, all of our group sites and yeah. our page is all there. So and if you need me to send it to you, I can definitely do that as well. But so this makes it all very simple. One page. Um, you can't get any simpler than this. So basically, eat this and not that, and you're done. And as long as you're eating to your full, you don't have it's more important what you dishes. leave off your plate than anything don't, that's right don't put the carbs on your plate there's no reason to add fat um to do it i'll, I'll, I'll be glad to send that to you uh, miriam for sure right after this is done okay um so those are the the two major types of uh, pro, uh, protocols within the, the ketogenic diet so like i said the other macros are less important that the carbs are what matter how deep you're into ketosis also doesn't matter so if you're using a, 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 a the pea stick as they call it which are, by the way, they're not very expensive. I think you can get for like 20 bucks, you'll get 200 sticks, right? Um, and as long as it turns colors, you're good, right? You don't have to worry about how deep that color goes. It's just a matter of once you're in, you you can you know that you've you're, you've dropped your carbs low enough to get in. You're making a difference in your life. You're going to start burning fat. Uh, you could also, if you really want to go splurge, you could go buy the blood testing meter. We don't do that. We've never done that. Yeah. Have no reason to do that. Matter of fact, we don't even test our um, our using the pea stick anymore because we know yeah. we can tell by how we feel and you know other things that we're not hungry and things like that that we're in ketosis and it's, it's just we're not, not really eating important. sugar or carbs right. marion wants to know if that's the meal plan that's uh, the food list it's the food list and it's real simple because here's our here's our meal plan it's a it, you know, it's usually a protein like a, some ground beef or a steak and a vegetable mm -hmm. i mean it's it's not it hard to, you don't have to simple. go create complex meal plans or recipes or things like that. Like that. Now, sometimes we'll post food and stuff on our site and, um, you know, you can see a them. Steak there's recipes. And, a steak and broccoli, yeah. steak and Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts or yeah. uh, we like Asparagus to do. Asparagus and hamburger. Yeah, we like to do mashed cauliflower sometimes. Oh, That's yeah. great. And love mashed you know, what you can do with that to make it really good is add a little bit of heavy whipping cream and cream cheese and some garlic and then melt some cheese on it. Oh, it's fantastic. I, I, I love yeah, eating it that it way. Put it in the broiler and let that cheese melt. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And it's very good. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's the simplest thing you can think of. Um, well, that sounds, oh, well, it's so simple. I got to do is eat less than 20 carbs. Oh, my gosh, I'll never be able to do that. But if you're filling up on the good foods, you don't think so much about the other stuff. You really don't. Uh, and over time, within a week, your cravings will um, just go away. It's just fantastic. Um, you don't feel deprived on this at all. No, that's the deal, man. You definitely I don't mean, want to feel it. You feel so full all the time. Just... Um, another thing you'll see confusing out there is you'll see people say, oh, well, you just need to add more fat. And again, we're not we're not um, promoting for fat loss any macros, right? You just follow this list. The problem is if you're if you're adding more fat than what you're eating on your um on just on your fatty meats. You might actually delay your weight loss, right? I mean, you're still being ketosis, but you're going to make it, what's going to happen is that you're going to burn that dietary fat before your body fat, and you want to burn your body fat. So you don't want to that's overdo right. that. Don't overdo um, the fat. We and, did it first. And we did. And that's okay at first because you're really trying to get adapted, right? You're changing your energy source from being a sugar burner to being a fat burner. And there's some, uh, um, I'm going to let you know right now, there are adjustments. Right, there are adjustments that you're going to need to make um, in your body as you as you change, and so you might not feel so well. So we got you know resources out there for that as well until you make that adaption. So it's okay to eat too many calories at first. It's okay to add a little bit extra fat at first until you become adapted, and then you change. Um, all right. So the next uh, protocol that we are kind of go with, and we started a group for this, and that is the inflammation protocol, right? And so we. 
They said, we both suffer from autoimmune diseases, several of them. And we have found out that there are foods that are, you know, we, and our list is great for that because it excludes grains. It excru excludes the bad omega-6 oils right. that have been proven to cause inflammation, right? Um, so those CD oils? Yeah, canola oil, oil, the vegetable oils, those corn oils, and sunflower go. oils. All of those have been you proven use those. to cause inflammation. So we replace them with olive oil, avocado oil, butter, ghee, coconut oil, uh, coconut oil things that are stable oils that have that are higher in omega threes than omega sixes, and they also require a lot of heat to get the oils out. And a lot of the problems with the with the seed oils is they have to add solvents in really high heat, and so they're damaging these oils. These oils damage your bodies. I mean, this is not even controversial. It's just, it's just and then you're getting problem. inflammation, and then you start hurting. Right. So. Um, and the other thing we've recently found also is that um, MSG comes in a lot of names and MSG is another problem in our diet that causes inflammation and all sorts of problems. So using the food list we have, it's all whole foods, right? Most of the foods are one ingredient, <laughs> steak, cream, uh, broccoli. I mean, they're all one ingredient. There's no extra ingredients. So if you're eating in that way, you're not getting any MSG in your body too. And that seems to be a big, big component. I'm just learning about that as well. So that's a problem sometimes when you're eating out, you might be getting MSG you're not, you're not aware of. That's why we don't eat out as much anymore. Yeah. And if we do, it's like, give me a steak. Yeah. Give me some Hamburger. wings. Yeah, it's real, real simple stuff. I love my wings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so um, the next thing. So we got into this way of eating because we watched the movie The Magic Pill. And if you haven't seen that, it's on Netflix. You're going to have to Pill. watch it a couple of times. Yeah, that's to actually a, grasp everything they're saying. An astounding movie and it's a documentary it changed our life mm -hmm. um the beauty of that one is it, it highlights a little girl that has epilepsy and autism and it shows her transformation over time where they were feeding her junk food you know pop tarts and the, the, the donuts and things like that and then they switched her over to whole foods you know meat and vegetables and she went from having uh constant seizures all of the time Changed to, her whole so life they, around. It stopped happening. And then she started to be able to communicate. Because when she go into her seizures, she would completely reset. She would go back and have to restart learning all over again. So the seizures stopped. She able to start start learning. And it. so we have two children, two grandchildren, that um, yeah. are on, on the autism spectrum. Very and special kids. Yeah, they're very special to us. And we, we just want to help them. So we went ahead and started a new group called... Um, keto for um, autism and this is pretty exciting stuff because this is not something we take lightly right this is something that we um, we take it to heart oh take gosh. it to heart uh and we also don't want to be overwhelmed with this because we already have two groups that are pretty active and this is a group that could be a fireball man it could be very emotional for people to be in but i just put out on twitter this week that i'm interested in doing this who would be willing to collaborate and i got word back from two medical doctors one a doctor in uh, queensland australia dr olivia lessler and she already uses dietary you know keep the ketogenic diet fish oils mct oil d3 and medications to treat children with autism so she's already doing this said she'd be willing to uh, uh collaborate with me on this and she's already added a whole bunch of resources to this group so if you if you're very interested in in in, in in this, if you've got people that are in your family that are, you know, in the spectrum might need assistance, it's a great resource, right? I mean, it really is something that might it be, could be uh, life changing for these children. And yeah. I'm hoping it will be for our grandchildren. Then this morning, uh, Dr. Tro, who I've been following on Twitter for a while, and he's a, he's a powerhouse in the nutrition world of, of, of the ketogenic way of eating. He jumped on board. He's a board certified uh, medical doctor, uh, up in New York. He himself lost 150 pounds using the ketogenic way of eating. And like I said, he's a nutrition information powerhouse. So, I mean, this is really exciting. Overnight, we went from two members to 25 members in that group. And so I, I have a feeling this is going to, um, this is going to blast off. Right. Hi, Sharina. Glad Good to morning, see you. baby. No problem being late. It's okay, um, honey. It's going to be on the replay. You can see it. Get us on the down low. <laughs> 
All right. So anything, I mean, I've got, I got some more stuff I want to share, but is there anything else that you want to talk about before? No, I, I just think the um, keto for autism is exciting that, you know, maybe it'll change Connor and Evelyn's life. That's our grandchildren. Mm. And maybe it'll inspire other families to change their children's lives. We're just, I just can't wait. I mm. hope it does. I hope, you know, there's, it's just, a dream. Yeah, it is. And a matter of fact, talking to our other daughter, uh, Jocelyn, she's already told us that she has begun changing their diet and things are changing. And notice their food bill went way down. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, that's, that's exciting, right? So, I mean, there's a lot of things. If you're not buying all the mac and cheese and the cereals, I mean, cereal's like four or $5 a box, right? I mean, think about it. You're not buying three or four boxes a week of cereal. That's about $15 right there. I mean, and all you're doing is buying base ingredients, meats, eggs, cheese, vegetables mm -hmm. it's, it's it really is um kathleen said well done bravo for establishing an autism resource uh, thank you kathleen it is greatly appreciated and again people are jumping on it's not going to be just us by any means because no. we are not experts we're so, not doctors so having a, we're just inspired by our grandchildren two doctors that are willing to contribute and answer questions and, and offer advice again it's not medical you know direction they're just giving advice is um it's great for us and I'm not having to feel so overwhelmed and trying to cover too much because we've got a lot going on as it is. All right, let's talk about some Sunday motivation. This is a Sunday go to meeting day yeah. anyway, right? And so I'm going to use some, an analogy here that, uh, you know, might fit within people's understanding. I mean, and one of the things is there's a lot of things that we use in life to, um, you know, uses guideposts, right? People look at, at Shakespeare, they look at the Bible, and I think maybe the Sopranos are the three things that you can always <laughs> find find something in that will help you learn about life, right? So I think he likes the Sopranos. I think the Sopranos. Yeah, yeah. It's a good show. All right. You looking at me? No. All right. Um so <laughs> we haven't watched it in a while. Maybe we need one. <laughs> Anyways, um, go ahead on with your analogy. analogy. So what I've been seeing, not so much on our site, but other places too. Well, people say, well, when can I add carbohydrates back to my diet? Mm. And I, that's fine. I can't go back. I mean, it's, it's a good question, and I'm going to go ahead and I answer don't want it information again. using an analogy, right? So in the Bible, you, you learn about the Israelites who were slaves in Egypt. They were slaves, I believe, for 400 years. And they found a way to get out of Egypt. They, um, you know, they, they basically, they, they wanted to get to the promised land. And so to get to the promised land, they had a leader, um, Moses. And Moses made a way for them to get through, but they had to go through the wilderness to get to the promised land, right? Um, when things got hard in the wilderness, um, even though they were no longer slaves, they were being you know, on their own, able to, to kind of control their own destiny. A lot of them said, I wish we could go back to Egypt. I wish they missed their slavery over, slavery. Their, over the way of the changes that they had, right? Um, so they, and then when they, as they fought through the wilderness to get to their promised land, they had to fight lots of enemies they had to, uh, until they finally got there. And it took them, 40 years to get through that wilderness, right? Now, you know, according to the story, you know, if they had kind of followed the directions, they could have probably been there within a few months, but because they kind of kept straying off path and getting lost in the wilderness, it took them 40 years. So here's my analogy, okay? So Egypt is uh, carbohydrates and sugar slavery, right? So that's where you were. We were definitely slaves to that. We were slaves to sugar, no doubt about it, right? That's where we were. Um, and so I'm not, I'm right now, I'm still in the wilderness, right? We are on our way to that promised land. That promised land fighting is- Fighting our way through the- Yeah, uh, promised land is optimal health. It's not a weight goal, by the way. It's getting our health to where we wanna get it, right? So mm -hmm. that's the promised land for us. Right now we're still through wilderness. We probably, or at least in my case, I know I have to, um, you know, three to five years to get through that wilderness, to get to optimal health. I'm not talking about a, a, a goal. Weight. Healing our bodies from I might the inside out. hit my goal weight in a year, but I, I still won't be at optimal health. I still might be insulin resistant. I still will have a lot of damage that I've done to my body, the joint damage and everything else that 
kind of needs to be undone, right? So those are um, those are what I'm looking for. So Miriam's lost with us. Okay, we're in the wilderness together. <laughs> let's let's we can, and, and and I'm not You're Moses. Our sister, you the, can the come ketogenic way of eating, the well formulated ketogenic diet is the is is Moses, right? And and we have we have this guidepost for you, and we only have three commandments, okay, instead of ten commandments. <laughs> So just keep that in mind. And that those three commandments are consume 20 grams of carb per day total. Eat fatty meats. And vegetables uh, until you're full. And don't eat when you're not hungry. The three commandments yeah. of the well-formulated ketogenic diet. So <laughs> keep that in mind. This is your guidepost. This is your GPS through the wilderness, right? And so this helps you get through to the promised land. Don't eat a stuff on that are it's not on the list. That's right. The things that are excluded, stay away from those because those are those are the, the enemies. The sugars and the carbs. Mm -hmm. And the gluten. So I said three to five years is what I'm looking at, depending yours may be shorter, yours may be longer, depending on how much damage you've done to your body. We did thirty years of damage, so no, fifty years of damage. Yeah, well that's true. As kids, <laughs> I mean, as a kid too. we were doing so fifty years of, of, of crap eating. Hey, shh, I'm only thirty. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Kathleen says, yeah, eating every two hours. Right. So yeah. Sugar makes you hungry. You're a slave, right? Yeah. You, it just keeps saying you're, you need to eat some more. You need to eat some more. So now as you shift over your appetite's under control, now we might not have to, might not eat for 16, 18 hours you know, at a time. No big deal. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird. But so, it feels wonderful. Just like the Israelite, Israel, Israelites had, they had the um, Egyptian army on their heels, right on their tail. We have got a similar army. We have those people out there saying, well, you can't do it that way. You have to burn uh, calories in and calories out. You have to work. You have to exercise your way that, to get that weight off. As we found out, that's not the case. You don't exercise. You cannot outrun a bad diet. My so, scale's been moving this week. And, uh -oh. yeah, and we really haven't been exercising too much, but you don't need to. Right? I mean, we do like to exercise. We do yeah, high we interval do. intensity training. I walk the dogs every day, too. We love it. So, I mean, it's not like we're not exercising, but it's you're not exercising to lose weight. You're exercising to feel better, and actually it's good for your brain. Then we have the Amalekites. These Amalekites are out there, and they are out there telling you it's okay as long as it fits your macros. And they're the ones saying, you can eat rice. You can eat some potatoes. No big deal. As long as you eat enough and it stays with your macros, you're fine. But they don't realize that we have these enemies within us, these inflammatory indicators that say, yeah, I don't want the grains. I don't want, yeah, I don't if want you that want, stuff. If you have an autoimmune disease, and even if you don't, you can cause damage to your body. Mm -hmm. So just stay away from those. Then there's the Midianites. That's another set of enemies out there. And they're saying that you have to track your macros. You, If you're not at 75% fat, you're doing it wrong. So you got to watch out for those enemies as well. And then finally, there's the Canaanites, and they're out there telling you that uh, that is unsustainable. Yeah, that's an unsustainable diet. It's it's too hard. You can't do it. And oh, and, and maybe it's even dangerous. Yeah. Um. You know, there's, there's My nobody's proven that they can do it for a long time. So these you have all these enemies out there telling you you can't do it, but all you got to do is stay the course, right? Stick to the plan. Stick to. It. That's all. That's all there is to it. Eat until you're full. Don't eat when you're not hungry. Um, and by the way, grams. we even have a banner. Carbs. We have a banner yeah. through the through the through the. We should the, make a uh, flag. <laughs> yeah, that we're carrying through the wilderness, and it says, "Don't eat processed crap. Choose real food." And also up here, it says, uh, "Juice and soda are sugar." <laughs> so, this is our banner. This is what we have that helps us to remind us that drink your water. Yeah, that uh, don't eat the processed crap. Right, eat, eat the real foods. So there is my, uh, what I call mojo motivation uh, as for, for to get through. And um, these are just kind I of fun things I loved his analogy do. when he told me it this morning. I was like, uh -huh, that's, that's pretty creative. Hmm. So um, at any rate. I'd like to see how your brain works in there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes you do, sometimes you don't, I promise. Um, <laughs> I've, lived with, channel. I've lived with them for 32 years and I still can't figure them out. So. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so, all right. So, those are the big things we got going on. We got, we've got non-scale victories. Uh, Sean has had scale victories. Uh, we've got seven days in a row. Stuff going on in our groups. The groups are growing, and and we we're autism. really proud of what's going on with those things. We started the new group for uh, keto for autism. Uh, if you've got family members that can benefit from that, 
Um, and by the way, remember in these groups, these are all non-judgmental groups, right? There's no right. keto police that are going to be allowed in these groups. This is, these are safe spaces for you guys to be able to share your stories. Inspire others. Please do that. Share your stories. Share your accomplishments because mm -hmm. you don't know who you're going to reach by sharing with other people. You'll be amazed. And, and it's like a domino effect. Then they're going to affect somebody's life and they're going to affect somebody's life. So... Uh, thank you, Blake. Casey Pieces is we're positively glowing, and we appreciate that. And we are, oh, thank you. We are tingling of the fact that we can help people, and that's really what uh, is most important. That's why to us. we're here. We want to inspire others, and along our journey, we need a little bit of, hey, you're doing a great job. Well, I mean, we need encouragement too, because yeah. I mean, we struggle just as much as anybody else. I mean, right now, I mean, the last couple of weeks, my scale hasn't moved, right? And so I need encouragement, right. saying, hey, you're still doing great. Hang in there. I mean, it's good. Yeah. I'm not struggling about it i know that th I went these things happen and a half without right? moving it was frustrating I mean, but it, you know it's it's not a linear weight loss i felt thing. better and for for people on keto it kind of looks more like this you know than it does this and and also there's some times where it just kind of flatlines for a bit and then it, you get that whoosh effect it's all good right as long as our health is getting better our health is what matters right so you have no idea have an idea for a group banner um maybe that that picture <laughs> yeah might be might be a good one but um if you guys have any any uh, yeah you got a creative side to you yeah um, that'd be great definitely I mean, I, share with us i've just been grabbing what's, it, what's available out there and, and just using it well definitely more improvements better um if you guys are artistic in those ways that's great too if you can come up and send us images i'll be glad to add them into banners or whatever and um please share 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 on these on these sites because it's not just about us. Yeah, you know, I want to hear about some, everybody else. I want to hear some success stories. Mm -hmm. or I want to know struggles. that we're inspiring you. Or if you're struggling, you put it up, that out there too. We're going to jump on it. We're going to help you through the wilderness, and we'll get through it together. Because I mean, we're keto family. Yeah, we are family. Uh, we we um, have such a simple approach too. Like so, I mean, people come out and say, "Look, you know, I've been on this for four weeks. I've only lost two pounds." It might be just like, "Hey, what are you eating?" You know, and, and then so we can kind of tweak that, you know, and see if, if maybe, you know, because not everybody comes in with the same protocol, right? Keto is a big umbrella, right? And so people do different things. Um, I'm not saying that our way is the best, but I've seen it be pretty damn successful. And so, I mean, all I can do is Dr. Westman. Yeah, so Dr. Westman. You know, he's got 50,000 success stories. He's got 98% of his patients that were type 2 diabetes are no longer on any medicine at all. You can't argue with that. I mean, it's just. It, it, it's what's most successful. So that's kind of what we are suggesting. And then you, and then from there on, it's uh, an N equals one, right? You you're, are your own. You might need to tweak it a little bit to, to make your, um, yeah. and your you might have some sweet cravings and it's, it's okay to, you know, take some cream cheese and make a fat bomb out of it or yeah. something with a little sweetener. I mean, those, those are things that you can do. Or uh, in our, our case, I like with what Teresa Slagle was one of our members, uh, called the hamburger hack. Whereas if you get a sweet craving at night, uh, what I do is I go get a, like a quarter pound of ground beef or a little patty and I'll cook it up and make sure and season it real well and smell it and mix it real good and I'll eat that. And then when I'm done, my sweet craving's gone. And so I push through that. It works yeah. really well. Or if you want a fat bomb too, that's whatever works for you. As long as you are um, progressing the way that you need to, I highly recommend you, you, you use that. If you start having struggling, then you can reach out to other people in our support group. Say, hey, look, I'm struggling a little bit. Anybody got any ideas? And people will reach out right. and chime in and help you out. So uh, so we've been going about 40 minutes. I don't have any other material. I ran out of notes. <laughs> but um, so if you guys have any questions, if you have any questions now, go ahead and ask them and we'll, 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 we'll address them before we go. Also, if you have topic ideas, you can put them in the comments. Absolutely. You can put them on our group site. You can email us at ketomojogogo at gmail.com. There's no right. excuse for not being able to communicate with us. If there's something that works for you, share that too. Yeah. We're on Twitter. Matter of fact, that's where I found uh, those two doctors that are going to be helping us out in our group uh, is on Twitter. So, I mean, we have all sorts of ways to communicate with us, to get our message out, to get your message out, to get help. There is no excuse for not being able to be successful other than what's here. 
right? Right. You so got to get past that. You got to get through here. You don't want to be a slave anymore. We can we can help you out the best we can, but in reality, you know, it's on you that you have right. to follow those guidelines. And you are the one that you. makes the choices for you. Mm -hmm. Be good to yourself. Yeah, and be honest with yourself. Be fair with yourself. And that's or be just, tough too. Yeah, you know, be tough. <laughs> all those things. You can do it. You can do it, and we are here to help you if that's the case, guys. So, all right. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and uh, wrap it up. Unless you guys have anything else, we love you guys. Thanks for being our duo family yeah. and joining Thank us. You. Feel free to share this with other friends if you think it's motivational. If you think it might help them, um, because it's helpful to me. You know, and, and, and I think it, yeah. this is good stuff. And we will uh, see you guys. Oh, oh Erica okay. said, "My good cholesterol up three times from last physical." Yeah, we, we are, are worth definitely it. worth it. We are worth it. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Miriam, for that. hanging out with us. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, good guys. Good to have you, sis. Be sure and be Bye, sure and get comments and Bye, whatever we need. And we love you guys. And nice to have care. all of you here. Okay, guys. Keto, mojo, mojo. Go, 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 out. out.